Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is donuts. Okay. <laughs> uh, Y'all gonna see why I'm laughing in a second. The scripture comes from Acts 20 and 13. We went on ahead to the ship and sailed for Asos, where we were going to take Paul aboard. He had made this arrangement because he was going there on foot. When we met, when he met us at Asos, we took him aboard and went on to my Tawny. The next day we set sail from there and arrived at Chios. The same day after that, we crossed over to Samos and on the following day arrived at Miletus. Paul had decided to sail past Ephus to avoid spending time in the province of Asia, for he was in a hurry to reach Jerusalem, if possible, by the day of Pentecost. Okay, so here's the message for somebody. You, God has you on a time frame, and you may not realize that God have you on a time frame, and you may not be understanding why God got you on a time frame, but he got you on a time frame. And what you don't know is there is someone that is trying to uh, mess up your time frame because they know that, like, that you know, the enemy knows things. They may not know the complete outcome. They may not know all the specific details. But they just know that if you are... If you re, if you are do if something happens at a specific time frame, if you are able to do whatever it is God is pushing you to do at a specific time frame, that there's that something is gonna happen, and whatever it is that is going to happen is going to change the um, status quo. It is going to change the outcome that the enemy is pushing for. Now, you don't know about this time frame. You are confused. You don't understand. But God knows, okay? God says that your enemy think that they are going to receive some kind of treats, some kind of reward, some kind of certificate if they are able to stop you from hitting the mark on this time frame. What they do not realize, there will be no reward, there will be no certificates, there will be no cookies, there will be no treats, there will be no donuts. God said, you will, you will, you will, even if he has to come and drag you to where you need to be himself, okay? We already know God ain't had no problem putting it up on them men's heart to throw Jonah off that boat into the water so he could get swallowed up by that well and escorted to where he needed to be. God say he not playing with you. I don't know who this for, whoever you are. God says he is going to ensure that you make it to where you need to be at the specific time that you need to be there so that you can do exactly what he wants you to do because he's not playing with you about this here. And, you know, when you get there, the thing that you don't understand is you will receive a reward. You will receive some kind of certificate. You may receive some kind of treats. You may receive some kind of cookies. God said he got something for you. You may not realize it. You may not see it. You may be looking like, mm, oh, like you know, I just feel like this is somebody you are terrified of. Um, you like you. I, I, I just feel like you are thinking that the outcome is not going to be what God is saying is going to be. Or maybe you are feeling like the and the crazy thing about it is the enemy is attacking you in so many ways. Not only are there people that are feeling as though if they stop you, they will receive some kind of reward. There is also the enemy is also attacking your mind to make you believe that something bad is going to happen. The enemy is attacking you to make you believe that things are not going to work out for you. The enemy is making you believe that you are um that it's like a, a failed mission. I hear uh, abort, abort, abort mission. And you are like nervous. You are scared. And you kind of feel like this is not going to work out the way that God is showing you that it's going to work out. God says what you don't realize is that he got all the donuts that you could possibly dream of waiting on you. I'm being reminded of the episode of The Simpsons. 
No, it's the Simpsons movie. When uh Homer was in line to properly get rid of the uh the thing that he had that was filled with pig waste. And his friends called him and said the donut shop was giving away all the donuts and that he got to hurry up and he got to get down there because if he don't hurry up and get down there quick enough, he ain't going to be able to get no donuts. God said, God said, God said, if you do what he wants you to do, everything will work out. And, you know, in, a, in reality, he may have, he was able to get down there and, you know, but because of what he did, he caused so much calamity that, you know, in the future, the, there were no donuts. So God is saying that the people, anybody that's trying to come against you, they cannot see what God sees. And they may, you know... They may feel like Satan is about to get them something. They're going to get some kind of treat. They're going to get some kind of reward. But they don't even realize that what little bit that they're going to get ain't got nothing to do with the future. You know what I'm saying? Because the future is in God's hands. And even if Satan is able to, you know, say people that follow Satan and do Satan's deeds, they do have things and they do receive stuff. But typically, the stuff that they receive, it has all kind of evil marks attached to it, curses, hexes, and all kind of stuff attached to it because of the evil deeds that they did in order to receive these things. So while they may receive something for what they are doing, it is not going to last in the longevity versus when you do something for God, you receive blessings that, that keep going. The blessing doesn't stop, you know? And God is saying, for whoever you are, you know, you may feel like God is rushing you. You feel like you, it's it's a it's a it's a like you can and you can feel this, you can sense this that it, it feels as though God is pushing you and God is like pulling you. And God is saying, yes, that is Him. He is pulling you. Yes, it is Him that is pushing you. Yes, it is Him that is moving you. And He wants you to go ahead and do what He asked you to do in the time frame He asked you to do it. There's no need for you to be scared there's no need for you to be nervous and you should understand that the person that will be receiving uh, not only donuts for the moment but you are going to receive a longevity like this is going to be a longevity of blessings this is not something that is just going to be a blessing for one day it's not something that's just going to be a blessing for one hour it's not something that's just going to be a blessing for one minute god is saying that these are blessings that are continuous god says that he plans on blessing you for a lifetime for somebody like you um what you are doing is important to God. What he has for you, whatever assignment that God has you on, it is important. And he said he wants you on your mission. He wants you on your task. He wants you to fall in line where you're supposed to fall in line at. Every, um every mission. And sometimes when God calls us to do something, we think to ourselves that, you know, this can't really be that important. And I don't truly believe that God is asking me to do this. And just because you are thinking to yourself and you believe and you wonder, and you, God said he's not trying to hear none of that. He's not asking you to do anything for no reason. It's not a situation where God is telling you to do something and he's calling you to do something. And then when you get there, everything is going to start falling apart. Sometimes the enemy does attack the plans that God gives us and the enemy will try to pull at us and claw at your feet and do anything that he can to stop you. But God is saying that if you go ahead and push through and you go ahead and realize just like in the scripture here. Where it says, um, Paul decided to sail past Ephesus to avoid spending time in the province of Asia, for he was in a hurry to reach Jerusalem, if possible, by the day of the Pentecost. God is saying that, um, in this situation, Paul could have stopped and he could have chilled for a second, but God said, uh uh, ain't no chill, ain't no pause, ain't no stop. Don't say no, 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 no. Just keep your foot off the brakes, foot on the gas. Keep your foot on the gas. Keep your foot on the gas. Keep going. 
We can't stop right now. God is saying we can't take a break right now. We can't take a pause right now. It's not, this is not the moment for you to uh, take a break. This is not a moment for you to pause and chill and relax. This is not the second where it's time for you to go. You know, you see your friends hanging out and you go and you decide to chill with them. and You get lost in the sauce for a few hours, a few uh moments, a few days, a few weeks. God said, nah, he has, he has a task. There's a task at hand for you. There is a task at hand for you and you sitting around trying to hang out and you sitting around trying to chill. It's not, that's going to hold you back from doing what you got to do. That's going to hold you back from being able to accomplish what you have to accomplish. God said he ain't got time for that and neither do you. Go ahead and, and get going, okay? And that's the message. You know, God is just saying that in this situation, even if you feel like the enemy is coming at you from all sides and you feel like you are just being attacked every which way and you don't understand why, God is saying it's because the enemy does not want you to receive the blessings that he has for you. But the enemy don't have no say so in those blessings. The enemy is not going to be able to slow you down or stop you from receiving the blessings that God has for you. The enemy is not going to be able to slow down your progress. The enemy that believes that they, even if they are using somebody and this person believes that if they are able to accomplish what the enemy has asked them to do, that they're going to be able to receive this and they're going to get that and they're going to have all these treats and trinkets. God say they're not about to receive very much. What they are going to receive is going to have curses that are going to torment them attached to it. And anything after that, after, after that has passed by, after they lose it or whatever happens to it happens, then they are going to be met with the feeling of misery because they're going to realize in the long run they didn't get nothing in reality they didn't like nothing really they they really did not receive anything for what they did to you they are not really truly going to receive anything it's not going to last it's not good longevity wise it's they're going to be in mourning and longevity wise they will be in the wrath of god and longevity wise it's not going to be worth nothing and god is saying don't spend your time worrying about them don't spend your time don't waste your time thinking about the what ifs don't waste your time like don't put yourself in a position where you are driving yourself mad or you're causing yourself sadness or you're causing yourself heartache and you're causing yourself to hesitate especially when it comes to you doing something that god has put it upon your heart to do when it comes to you doing what God has instructed you to do. God said, whoever you are, he is not playing with you. And he wants you to get what you need to get done, done. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.